Hey guys, Joy San Anthony, aka JJ. And if you've been watching my channel recently, I've been experimenting with different painterly add ons. Previously, I experimented with Geku's Deep Paint add on, and then more recently, the Brush Strokes Tools add on by the Blender team. And last week, I learned about Taiwan's Paint System add on. So this video, we're going to go over all three. The first two are free and the deep paint add-on is a paid add-on. We are going to start first with the paint system add-on. And before we get started, let's go to his gum road. And I can't believe again that it's free. Let me scroll down. And at the date of this recording, I am using version 1.2.1. I'm going to link a video in the top right, how you go step-by-step step to install an add-on. So once the add-on is installed, I'm clicking Suzanne, new, and I'm gonna keep the settings the same, add group. Again, I'm not gonna adjust the settings. I'm gonna click okay. Okay, we get a color, an image, and I'm gonna click toggle to paint mode. And technically right now you're able to start coloring Suzanne. But what's awesome about this add-on is he actually added two preset brushes. So right now this is just all the default under brush i'm going to click add preset brushes and if you saw the bottom left the two preset brushes were just installed and it's just amazing how he gave this add-on for free it really is thank you so much for doing that so i'm just going to start coloring suzanne i'm using the gouache brush I don't think I've mentioned it before, but to color, I'm actually using a drawing tablet. And let me fast forward this part, so I'm just coloring. Okay, Suzanne is done. Now I'm gonna do the crown. Again, click the crown, new, add group. Okay, and this time I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna keep the color bluish. And now I'm going to toggle to the paint mode and just go in and color the crown. What I did for Suzanne and the crown, I'm repeating that process with the cube and the plane, and I'm finishing up the plane right now. I just really love that textured look. So now we're gonna move on to the second experiment and that's with the Brush Strokes Tools add-on by the Blender Studio team. And this is also a free add-on. And before we start using it, currently I am using version 1.1.1. Okay, let's go back to Blender. One awesome thing about this add-on, since it's made by the Blender team, I'm just gonna show you really fast. Let me go to Edit, Preferences, and let me get Extensions. Anytime it needs to be updated, you can just go to the update at the end. But like I said previously, I'm using the most current version. Okay. So I'm gonna have Suzanne selected with the Brushstrokes Tools download. I'm gonna click Fill. And right now this is the default and I want to change the color. So I'm just gonna go to Material. I'm gonna create a brand new material. Click that number and I just did Brushstrokes. Or I'm sorry, Suzanne Material. I'm gonna change the color, adjust the color variation. And let me go to Shape. And these are just what I play around with the most, the width, the length, the scale, and the density. You're just constantly tweaking it to get 
get the style how you want it it's kind of sticking out more than I would like so I'm just gonna go trim to mesh maybe shrink wrap it shrinks wrap the brush strokes closer to the mesh and that's a little too much I'm gonna go back to material let me move variation scale and down on material you can adjust the brush style so you can see there's a couple of different styles that they have normally I just go back to the default for some reason I like the default the best and if you keep going down under the brush style there are effects different there are four different kinds crayon canvas rake and fade I want to change the direction of my brush strokes so a little bit outside of Suzanne I just it's actually done by accident but I selected with the brush selected I'm just adjusting the style so whichever way you draw that's the direction the brushes will go the brush strokes will go I'm happy how that turned out so now I'm gonna move on to King Suzanne's crown and clicking fill and I'm gonna create a new material because I want this to be different than the material I just used for Suzanne again adjusting the color for, uh, for some reason I like blue as the crown color and again just playing with the settings I think I might change the brush style and maybe add an effect yeah I'm going back to shape to adjust these settings how I like definitely need to shrink wrap the brush strokes it's still coming out more than I would like so I just click trim to mesh honestly I like that it was pretty quick but yes what we did with Suzanne I just repeated that process for the cube and for the plane for the plane I kind of like what I did for the crown so I want to copy what I did I don't want to do it from scratch so I'm going to select the plane then the crown holding shift and then sorry let me do that again the plane then the crown holding shift this drop down copy all to selected objects so now it just copied I'm gonna do the same thing I've done previously go to material and then create a new material and I'm debating if I want to keep it the same blue actually I'm going to copy Suzanne number one I'm going to make it orange okay yeah I'm just gonna play with the settings a little bit more but I'm doing what I did previously right now I'm just gonna play with the roughness I think that's good so now finally for Suzanne number three I'm going to be using the deep paint add-on by Geku and right here I'm actually at the manual but let me select the actual to get the add-on and again I'm going to link all this in the description so this is the paid add-on the prices are 35 45 and 190 if you're with the studio and I'm using the 45 so with Suzanne selected I'm going to click on DPM which stands for deep paint material and I don't know if you kind of see some light shadows that are appear but I want to go in and color so I am going to select vertex paint and now I can go in and color Suzanne and I'm gonna keep the same pattern making her orange And yeah, I'm going to fast forward this part because I'm just coloring her. So this is my finished Suzanne with some light shading. I went back in just to give her some eyes. Oops, let me undo that. Okay, yeah, so Suzanne is done. Now it's time to move on to her crown. 
with her crown selected I changed the crown off camera last time we did deep paint material this time I'm at the bottom where it says texture and I'm going to add a texture I'm not gonna change actually I'll change the base to number three okay I'm sorry I'm gonna select that and then if it turns black I actually want it to be white I just need to scroll back up under DPM and just select white and that should change it and now I'm going to go to shading to start coloring, I'm going from object mode to texture paint. I kind of want to do, I kind of want to do watercolor. Just to do something a little bit different. I chose the watercolor brush, but as you can see, there's a variety of brushes, pastel, rake, airbrush edge speckles a shortcut is right clicking if you want to change the color the brush the radius the strength so i'm just going to go in and add some shadows to well and some lighting and shadows to the crown i'm going to fast forward this part till i finish coloring the crayon but yeah what the watercolor brush is one of my favorites so now that that's done we're going to go to the plane and then, oh no, when I tried to add a texture, it the crown disappeared and it made the plane black. So I actually need to do a couple of things. I need to create a new material and I just named it plane texture. And then I need to go to the shading tab and I'm gonna do shift A, add a image texture. And for that, remember how I did it plain texture? That's how I'm gonna title it. New image, and I'm gonna connect that, the color to the base color, and we're almost done. I need to go to UV editing and click U, unwrap, smart unwrap. There we go. So you can't tell, but everything should be good to go now. I actually need to go back to layout. And now when I try to add a texture, I'm gonna click OK. OK, everything is good. So if I go back to shading, I should be able to color. Let me go to texture painting. These steps usually do the trick when I'm trying to use the textures and using multiple meshes in the same scene. And for the plane, I'm just using the watercolor brush again. And I did speed this up for me painting. Okay, I'm almost done. But in this video, we went over the paint system add-on, brush strokes tools, and the deep paint add-on. These add-ons are really fun to play with and hopefully this gave you just a good overview again there's still so much more that I have to learn about these add-ons but yeah hopefully this overview helped this is Joyce and Anthony aka JJ until next time